Hey guys, Alternative Briggs here, and today I'm going to be doing my May manga haul. Sorry, I had to think about what month it was, but it, this was May. So this is the stuff I got in May. There are some graphic novels toward the end, but if you don't want to watch that, I guess you can just click away from the video once it gets there. There are only like five, so I think you should sit through it. It'll be good for you. So starting off, I'm going to show you some of the stuff I've shown in a past video. If you watch some of my videos, you'll know that I got this. And that is Noragami 1 to 8. I'll try to show you them individually, even though I already lined them up here. That's volume 1. Noragami's pretty good so far. It's I'm still only on volume 3. There's volume 2. But it's pretty good. It's entertaining. I think it'll pick up later on. At least that's what I've heard from comments on my video. Here's volume five. I have three and four, but they're actually at my work right now because I'm reading them. So I can't show you those, but I'm sure you know what they look like. Here's number six. Here's seven. Really nice cover on that one. Here's eight. And yeah, Noragami's entertaining. I'd encourage all of you to at least give it a try. Next up, we have Vinland Saga Book 8. I ordered this a long time ago and it finally came. Gotta thank Amazon for that one. Um, Vinland Saga is great. We all know it's great. Uh, I'm gonna move on from there. Volume 9 should be coming out soon as well, so that's cool. Next up, I thought I would try out a light novel for the first time, and that's The Isolator. This is by the same creator as Sword Art Online, so I figured it'd be a good place to start. I know that the light novel genre has been overly saturated lately by these transported to a new world, I'm stuck in a video game, oh my god. But this one isn't like that. It's sci-fi, but it's about people who develop superpowers based on what they really want in life. The main character wants to be isolated. He doesn't like people and he wants to be alone, so he becomes the isolator. And there's another really cool character in there that is like a food critic and he loves to eat. So he becomes the biter, which is a very creepy character. And it's interesting in that respect, the characters are cool, the idea is cool. I'm, I'm not very far into it. I don't know if you can see my bookmark there, but I don't know. When it comes to light novels, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to feel. They're written in a very juvenile way. If you've read them, I think you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm not sure... Sorry, just fixing this book here. I'm not sure if it's because of the way it's actually written or if it's because of the English translation, but they're written kind of poorly. So you kind of have to go in it for the story and not for the writing, which is hard for me since I read a lot of novels. But I'll finish this one off, and if I like it, I'll get the next ones. Okay, and then I've got... Oh, that's upside down. <laughs> Variante. I really don't know anything about this one. I saw it recommended for me on my anime list, so I picked it up. There's only four volumes, and it's a horror manga. So that really appealed to me. Here we go. It's pretty creepy looking. It's pretty messed up. I, and I don't mean messed up as in the content, I mean the book itself is messed up because I got it used. So, I'm not very happy about that, but there it is. And then of course I got what everyone's talking about on YouTube. The Girl from the Other Side. Well, you can't really see it, but there it is. I was really attracted to the idea of this book because I love, like, little children creepiness. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but think like if you've ever played the game Limbo or Inside, like a little kid who's stuck in this creepy world. This one's about a little girl who's followed around by this like demon thing. And I don't know, that idea really appealed to me, so I got it. Can't wait to get volume two and read this. I'll probably collect a couple of volumes before I start reading just so I don't forget what happened. But yeah, I'm excited to read this one. It looks really cool. Okay, and then next up I got Girl's Last Tour, book one. I got two of them. Just so you know, I tend to buy doubles of a lot of things. 
so from now on, if you see any doubles in this video, I'm not even going to mention it. I'm just going to show them to you as like an inside joke type of thing. I, I do it a lot. I don't know why I do it. I think it has something to do with my mental issues, <laughs> but I do it. Um, and sometimes I'll buy things that I already have on my shelf and I won't even realize that I already had them. So this happens to me a lot. Just, just ignore it. But Girls Last Tour, it's a new series. I don't know anything about it. Um, the art looks cool. It looks kind of like Azumangu Daio. I don't know if you've ever read that, but that's kind of what the characters look like to me. So that was all my new stuff. Now let's get into some of the older stuff I bought. I picked up my The Psychic Girl. Um, I, I've seen this in maybe a couple of YouTube videos, but I haven't seen it around a lot, which makes me think that nobody really knows what it is. And I don't really know what it is, aside from the artist, he does a lot of older series like Sanctuary, Crying Freeman, I'm trying to think of more, but I can't. He does the art in all those series, and he's an alternative mangaka, so. I'm expecting good things from this one. I haven't heard much about it, but I need, I, I, I got volume one, two, and three, so I still need volume four. There's volume one. There's book two, still in some sort of plastic. And there's volume three, also in some form of plastic. There's like a dog on here and I think it's dead. <laughs> I really, I don't want to know what happens to the dog. Oh no. I didn't notice that till just now. <laughs> okay, and then I got red snow. Red snow. At least it's not yellow snow. By <laughs> Susumu Katsumata. Uh, another alternative manga, just full of short stories. You can tell it's alternative by the art. Whoa, can't show that on YouTube. Just pretend like you didn't see that. But yeah, red snow. Not yellow snow, red snow. I'm not sure which has a worse connotation there. Next up, Goodbye by Yoshihiro Tatsumi. I'm not really sure what's happening on the cover here. It could either be they're holding each other because they're both sad or something else. I don't really know. I, in my last haul, I got the Pushman and other stories, so this is just continuing that. Um, short stories, cool stuff, moving on. Okay, I got Samurai Executioner. I got book one, and you'll see when I turn them over, they are super thick. I wasn't expecting them to be that thick. Thick. I got book two. Three and four. That's complete. Can't wait to read it. It's by the same author as Lone Wolf and Cub, so I'm expecting it to be halfway decent at least. I'm wondering because of how thick they are, do you think I could just like open this and then like there'd be an automatic crease down the spine? Because that's what I'm afraid of. So I'm gonna have to be very careful reading these. Or I can just not care and get creases all down the spines. And then finally for the manga, I picked up Mermaid Scar by Rumiko Takahashi, Rumiko Takahashi, however you say it, by the same creator as, oh, let's see, Ron Mahaf, Inuyasha, Inuyasha, um, what's the other one? One Pound Gospel, Meisani Koku, this is like a short story type of thing, it's really thick though, it's a Viz graphic novel. Still in the wrap. I don't know anything about it, but I'm sure it'll be decent. So that's it for the manga, and then I got a few graphic novels if you want to stick around to see what I got. First of all, the new stuff. Saga, book two. Been really excited for this. I've had book one forever, and it's been so long since book one came out, but we finally got book two. I've read some of this, I haven't read all of it, so I'm excited to crack it open and read it all again. Saga's great. I'm sure you already know that if you're following graphic novels. And then I got what everyone's talking about on graphic novel review web pages. My favorite thing is monsters. Oh, this is really hard to hold up. But this is a really cool book. Let me show you the inside. 
it's like written on notebook paper and some of the art is done in color it looks like colored pencil like prismacolor or something and then some of it's done in black and white and it's all really look that art is so good and it's so unique like done on notebook paper there's no panels there's just the art and the text like that that's really cool to me it's pretty awesome there's only two books and the next book comes out next year so I'll probably wait till next year to read this or I might not be able to wait anymore and I might read it anyway but there's that and then I got everything by Jesse Jacobs I got oop by this shall you know him and let me show you the art in here <laughs> it's really interesting really funny too I, I read this book actually and this book was awesome very strange though so prepare yourself for some extreme strangeness it's about like religion and the creation of earth and it's, it's kind of like a parody of creation myths so if you're sensitive to that kind of thing probably don't pick it up but it's a criticism of religion, a criticism of a lot of things, really. So that one was pretty interesting. And then I got Jesse Jacobs, Safari Honeymoon, another one by him, another short one with weird art. I haven't read this one yet, but this is actually his most famous one, so I'm excited to read this one. And then I got his newest work, which just came out, Crawl Space. Look at that cover, that's, wow, it's really cool. And this one is very different from the others. It's a lot of dark colors. It's very abstract, so not a lot of story, but at the same time, there's a lot going on in these books, at least based on what I read in by this show, you know him, there's a lot going on, a lot of criticisms, a lot of intellectual mumbo jumbo, but yeah. They're very cool books. Glad to have them. So that was that, guys. That's my manga haul and some graphic novels for May 2017. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.